was Al Dogan's officer, Telly. And he is the first owner himself, Johnny Lockwood. Well, the old place doesn't seem to have changed much in five and a half years, does it? You know, in the early days, I played a Hungarian Jew that happened to have the Greek name of Aldo Godolphus. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> and I lived here at the back of the shop with my daughter Rose, in otherwise Vivian Garrett. <laughs> Than ever. And then came Mrs. Lubinsky. Who was made to become Mrs. Godolphus. But better known to us as Philippa Baker. And I um, brought into the shop Arnold Feather. In other words, Jeff Kevin. <laughs> and Arnold, in a mistaken moment, Engaged the services of accident prone Phyllis Pratt. Moya O'Sullivan. <laughs> and then came Giovanni and his father, Harry Michaels, and Joseph First. <laughs> and how about your Aunt Maria? Oh, stone the bloody cross dead. I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> of course, then uh, came my Aunt Maria Rianti Galani. <laughs> and over here is Douglas Disco, which used to be Norma's bar. But in the old days, it was a chemist's shop. And here are the two chemists themselves, Lynn Rainbow and Joe James. <laughs> But a guy called Jack Sellers bought the property and turned it into a wine bar. And the part of Jack Sellers was play played by my real-life husband, Tom Oliver. I didn't want to run the place myself, so I turned it over to Les and Normal Whittaker, better known as Gordon McDougall and Sheila Kennelly. helping us out at one time or another, didn't we, Gordon? That's right, Sheila. First of all, there was Dudley Butterfield, Charles Haywood. <laughs> and uh, soon after Dudley moved to the wine bar, Les Whittaker's mother-in-law moved in, Aileen Britton. Uh -huh. And then Whippo, the Garbo, played by Roger Ward. <laughs> And the boys somehow took over Stephen McDonald and Michael Howard. <laughs> to entertain the customers and you, Chelsea Brown. <laughs> over the years, the flats have all changed hands many times. But of course, in flat three, there was always me. Dory and Flo. By them I mean Pat McDonald and Bunny Brook. <laughs> of course. <laughs> hubba hubba, tickety boo, fair crack of the whip, and hooroo. <laughs> then from Fat Four, in order of tenancy, Martin Harris, Cutty Crocker, Suzanne Church, Diana Mann. And from Fat Five, the original TC, John Allen, and the Mayor himself, David Whitford. And of course, Daddy, Mummy, and Marilyn. By me, Mike Dorsey, Wendy Blacklock and Francis Hartley. <laughs> Scott Lambert. <laughs> Pamela Garrick. Paula Duncan. 
and Kay Powell. And from Flat 7, right back to episode 1, comes our old friend Vera Collins. Of course, we mean That's Elaine Lee. And her oh, final husband, Peter Whitford. Who are those people? <laughs> what? Ah. Ah. And Flat 7's ah. last occupants are Nat Nixon and Dave Allenby. <laughs> and moving finally to Flat 8, Joe Hashem and Mary Ann Saverne. And of course, uh, my most recent flatmate, Stephen O'Rourke. <laughs> and uh, who could forget the very first tenants in Flat 8, all those years ago, Liz Kirby and James Elliott. Just a few of them, whom I know you'll remember with affection, just as we do. Redmond Phillips. all together plus many many others and we make number 96 oh and of course the most important people have been you the television viewers and from all of us here to all of you there we just want to say thank you thank you for all your warmth and wondrous support good night god bless and goodbye <laughs> 